Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, iron 3 oxide. So let's see where these elements are on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. Let's go with iron first. Iron, if I scan the periodic table, iron's going to be somewhere over here. Iron is represented as an Fe. So the element is Fe, and it's in this box, which means that it's a transitional metal. But transitional metals or transition metals, they always have different charges. How am I going to know what charge Fe is going to have? That's why there's a Roman numeral here. The Roman numeral always tells me the charge of the metal. So I know that I have Fe, and since this is a 3, that tells me that iron is a plus 3. And remember, uh, metals always have the plus charge. Coming over to the next part, I see that I have oxide. IDE endings mean that you're going to have a nonmetal most of the time. So this had to be oxygen, right? Oxygen always turns into oxide when it's named. Oxygen, if I scan the periodic table, it's over here. It's written by an O. And oxygen, being a nonmetal, goes by the trend of a negative 2 oxidation uh, state. So we have O with a negative 2. Now, since I have both elements and both charges, all we got to do is just crisscross those charges just to see how many of each element I have. So this plus 3 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 3 oxygens, and this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I only need 2 irons. When you crisscross, don't worry about the positive and the negative, just put the number, okay? It's just easier. So now let's just get ready. I have iron. This is telling me that I need 2 of them. So I'm just going to put a 2 here. Then I have oxygen, and I need 3 of them. I'm going to put a 3. And that's it, guys. You're done. So iron 3 oxide is Fe2O3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in the next lessons, all right? Have a great day. Bye-bye.